Happy New Year, everybody. Listen, I wanted to do a quick video um, to address some of the comments that I have been getting about my Easy Subly um, press method. And what I didn't do in my first video, which I'll post a link to, is I didn't put examples of what my prints looked like coming right off of what was then my Workforce 7720. So what I did was I put together this short video just to show you what my prints look like when they come off my now Echo Tank 15,000 and what it looks like when I print it. So um, just bear with me here. I'm going to try to do this in five minutes so you can, you can get on your way and finish creating your masterpieces. But listen, I want to show you my print settings first as far as, you know, high speed printing and stuff like that. Then I want to show you what the actual print looks like. So let's take a look at the computer. So if we look right here, we can see that for me and my Epson 15,000, these are my print settings. And of course, if I had a workforce 7710 or 7720, what I would want to do is turn off high speed printing. I would want to uh, slow my print down so that as the uh, print go, as the paper goes through the printer and the heads lay the ink, that the, the ink dries excuse me, that the ink dries before the paper is moved and another line of ink is laid down. So, uh, again, thick paper and envelopes is turned on. Um, quiet mode is turned on. That that actually is uh, like the high speed mode that I think that um, that uh, slows the printer down, giving the ink time to dry as it passes through the rollers. Next, bi-directional printing is off. I don't know what that means. Uh, through my research, I learned that... Um, that should be off all the other settings um really of no use to me at this time so these are my print settings so i'm gonna everything there is right what i want to do is i want to show you the actual print and rather than you know hold up a t-shirt and try to point out the lines or whatever i actually took screenshots or i took pictures of the prints side by side and of the prints press side by side so that you can get a real good view of what's actually going on. So if we look here, so if we look here, this is when I print directly on Easy Subly. So if you take it, uh, to me, this is unacceptable. And what I was talking about with the ink not drying before the paper moves, you see these black lines here that run all through my print? This is from the ink not drying before the papers advanced through the printer. And it seems like it's the black ink that is giving me trouble. And this is the same thing that was happening on my Workforce 7720. I just didn't know what I could do to use Easy Subly because I like the feel of it. Um, I just didn't like what was going on with my printer. Now, people with the Sawgrass SG500 or SG1000, I don't think they have this problem um, because... I've watched videos of the sawgrass using Easy Subly and never have I seen anything like this. Or if I think about it, are they printing black? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm just I, I, I learn how to do something and I keep it pushing and I don't really look back. I just try to I, I face the problem and I try to resolve it and keep moving. So this is using the Easy Subly when I put the Easy Subly through the printer. This is when I use the A sub paper and then press onto the easy subly, right? No, no ink lines, blacks, everything is in place. It stays. And also a little bit more vibrant, like look in the reds. You see how on the A sub paper, the reds are nice and consistent on the easy subly. The red is blotchy. It almost looks like a low res image, you know, that's that's being printed out on the easy subly, but it's the exact same image. So let's take a look at that is um, that is when it's pressed side by side. This is after it's pressed. Everything else I like about it. Colors, the golds and the whites and the reds and blues, they look good. But let's look at what it looks like when it's printed side by side. So this is the design. This is the graphic printed directly on easy subly. Look how blotchy it is washed out it looks as it should it's sublimation we understand that but this is the easy subly now look at the a sub paper even more vibrant still dull but more vibrant than the, than the the uh, easy subly paper right no lines 
in here it's hard to see this is where people get confused because it's hard to see in the print unless you're really looking for it but here are the lines mm -hmm. here here are the lines here right here 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 but then you look at the a sub and it lays down fine it's crazy right now let's look at so basically this is some of the smudges right so even when i touch it this was after i printed it i printed it st stuck it under the heat press for five minutes to help the ink dry still picked it up tried to move it move the easy subly around still smudging this is from the me trying to pick it up on one of these edges and i guess at some point i touched the red in the hat and smudged you know the surface that I was taking the photo on. But for me, this is unacceptable. So this is why, this is how I uh, learned how to cut the easy subly, lay it down, put the A sub on top and press it that way, right? So print it side by side, we looked at that. Um, yeah, close up, we looked at that. Um, it's just unacceptable. These lines are unacceptable. And so after going through this for about a whole pack of paper. I didn't know what it was the first time. Um, I figured out that I needed to do this two-stage process, which is to print on the A-sub, cut the easy subly out, lay the A-sub on the easy subly, and press it that way. And so when that happens, you know, the, 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 the um, results are night and day. So that's it. It's 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 no there's no question if you have a, a Epson and you want to use easy subly, you would have to do the, the two stage process, the print and cut and then the cut. And I have a video on how to do that. I'll post a link somewhere here or here. I'm not sure. I'm kind of new to all this YouTube stuff, so I don't know where the link is going to be. It's going to be here somewhere. So click that and, you know, hopefully your designs using Easy Subly will come out looking good. And I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't, like the Easy Subly, it looks bad, but it doesn't look bad. Like for some people, they would accept this on the uh, left-hand side if the black lines were not running down the page. Some people would accept this. For me, the quality of this is unacceptable, especially when I know that I'm capable of getting this you understand what i mean so the quality of this red is okay if you never see this right especially if you're far away from somebody they're not going to see the details like you would see them close up so even when we look at here there, it doesn't look bad on the left the easy subly doesn't look bad the black lines definitely are a deal breaker but when it comes to everything else it's okay and you you press at a lower temperature Easy Subly is 320, 310 to 320 for 15, 20 seconds. And then on the right, this is the full sublimation process. So it's 400 for 60 seconds. But listen, stop banging your head up against the wall trying to get your Epson to print on this Easy Subly. This is two Epson printers now where that exhibit the same issue with printing on Easy Subly. And it just doesn't work for me and for others. So if you still want to use it and you have and you want to uh, perfect a technique that will allow you to use both um, your sublimation and your easy subly to print on darks. These are actually a black T-shirt on the right and a navy blue on the left. I was going to throw um, just both designs on navy blue, but I said I'm gonna rock this one because my son took the gold. I had the gold one. My son took it, so I just decided to um, print it again, except on black. However, easy subly with Epson printers, you're probably gonna run into the issue where the black lines are running down your design if you use black. If you don't use black and you're happy with what that looks like, by all means, use it. However, once you have watched this video and you know that you can get better results from Easy Subly, I think you're going to want to do the two-stage process. So that's what I suggest. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, or leave your comments. I, you know, I'm learning just like you are. Um, I just want to be able to allow you to create the best things that you can. Uh, for me, I'm a kind of boutique seller, so I sell, you know, four or five of 
one design and then I move on. Um, but for you, you might have a production line of designs that you want to get right and you want to use Easy Subly and you only have a sublimation printer or you like the way Easy Subly feels on the garment as opposed to a uh, dark transfer. You know what I mean? Dark transfer feels and sounds just like paper. Easy Subly, a little bit different. So hopefully I was able to help you get through some of your Easy Subly challenges with sublimation printing. If I haven't, or if you have another question, just leave a comment and I'll respond. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty responsive sometimes within an hour, you know, but no longer than one, uh, one day. All right. Talk to you soon.